Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you in my last video was the aquariums that I showed. I think this is a Mark's tank. And this is his tank when it was new, set up with the plenum. And uh, remember, he has the two stainless steel filters going in this particular tank. And what I forgot to show you is, here's the tank when he set it up. And here's his tank after nine months. That's the photograph I showed you. And as you can see, a big difference in the in the time span of the aquariums. There's there's also something else I want to show you with time span of even uh, fish, for example, uh, using the anoxic filtration system. Now here's a photograph of about. 10 months ago of one of the fish I received from uh, a vendor out in California who sells goldfish. And of course they do warn you that when you get goldfish, sometimes they'll come in damaged. You know, you got to remember they're in a bag, they're in the dark, uh, some of them don't take well to shipping. And as you can see by the photograph of this guy, uh, he got damaged a little bit in the shipping. But because I was using an anoxic filtration system, I gave no chemicals, nothing. I put the fish in and figured, well, we'll see if uh, any fungus develops, if he has any side effects, if any uh, uh, problems arise from the particular goldfish. And believe it or not, nothing really happened. However, Okay, the fish you were just looking at, the same fish is the top fish that you're looking at. The two bottom fish are different. That is what that fish did after 10 months in the aquarium. Now, you have to remember, I gave it no drugs. I didn't treat it in any way, shape, size, or form. I bought the fish. You saw the condition it was in when I bought it. Uh, that is the same fish that you see on top. Completely healed 100%. Scales are all back, even though scales were loose and everything. No drugs, no chemical. The fish is doing just fine. And that is what I try to tell people by using an anoxic filtration system. This was not achievable. Usually when you had fish that were badly damaged, you would have to put them in a hospital tank, right? You would have to give them treatment, maybe a gram negative, gram positive, tetracycline. You would have to wind up giving the fish a treatment just so it would not compound and get worse. Or another enemy is wind up getting fungus on the fish. And that's that would be even worse yet. But... As you can see by the photograph, the fish completely healed on its own using an anoxic filtration system and is going along just fine. I show in my video course on this particular tank that you're looking at uh, how to make a plenum and how to make an anoxic filter, uh, whether it's a BCB bags or, or a basket in your canister filter or hang on the back filter. But anyhow, this... I have to admit, years ago, was not achievable. If you had a damaged fish that came in, you really had to quarantine that fish and take care of it and maybe even treat it with something to make sure it would not get secondary infections on its damage. But here the fish healed right up and, and all the black completely left it after 10 months. It's not the bright red as you see the other fish are, but it seemed to do good. What is anoxic filtration? Anoxic filtration can be explained in two ways. One way using BCB bags or baskets. Another way by using a plenum. It is the way they are implemented that makes anoxic conditions, which makes the anoxic filtration system. Uh, anoxic filtration system is a biological filtration system using biosynosis clarification baskets or like I said plenums to attract positive ions out of the water body using a combination of natural processes clays 
that means different kinds of clays you can use, such as uh, kitty litter, uh, laterite also falls into that, uh, your safety orb, and other clays like that. Uh, like that of kitty litter and uh, tropical laterite, a residual product of rock decay, which is what laterite is. Act and react to convection, magnetic pull, or diffusion as a biochemical reaction to attract cations and anions out of the water column. That's one thing people always ask. It only attracts positive ions. No, it attracts cantons and anions out of the water column. Because of their crystalline structure, state, the negative charge, clay, red in millivolts, electrovalence, attracts positive ions like ammonia and removes it out of the bulk water. So that would make sense. If you can remove ammonia out of the bulk water and bacteria can attack it immediately and can't, it doesn't have to convert it to nitrites and then nitrates, you kind of bypass the nitrogen cycle by attracting ammonia out of the water column. Makes sense. This magnetic pool will then aid in molecular diffusion using facultative anaerobic heterotrophic bacteria, therefore creating under anoxic conditions dissimilative denitrification and will turn nitrates, NO3, into denitrogen gas, N2, thus making it safe for aquatic life to exist in aquariums and ponds. Facultative bacteria can be found even at the top of the baskets and along outer sides since aerobic respiration is beneficial energy speaking. Let's see, there are also other bacteria that reside in the baskets too. Microaerophile bacteria will be found throughout the basket, but not at the outer edges. They require oxygen, but only at lower concentrations like that of anoxic conditions. So they stay away from the higher oxygenated outer edges because of that reason. Then there's also an aerotolerant bacterium in the baskets. That can be found everywhere because oxygen does not affect them in the least, nor does the deficiency, low concentrations, but not completely void of oxygen of such. However, Obligated aerobes, big bacteria, will mostly gather on the outer edges of the basket within millimeters in, in order to absorb the maximum amount of oxygen that is provided in the basket. And that's basically the anoxic filtration system or how anoxic filters work in a nutshell. And like I have stated before, uh, you have your BCB baskets, but you also have a plenum, and we're trying to achieve the same thing with the plenum. Move water slowly through it, but not to the point where you have anaerobic conditions. You still have aerobic conditions, but just in low oxygen concentrations, which anoxic is. It just means low oxygen, not void of oxygen. Anyhow, I thought I would show you uh, this. There was Lots of questions are always being asked of me about um, the anoxic filtration system. Does it attract negative and positive ions out of the water? Yes, it does. Cantons and anions are being attracted out. And that's what becomes beneficial, like with a plenum, where you have these negative and positive charges ending up in the plenum itself. These negative and positive charges end up there. If they join, they make radicals, and then that then benefits your redox. And that's what people need to understand. If you have a negative and positive choice, charge joining, that is what makes the radical, and that is what makes your oxidization of your water to read high redox. And that's why people who make plenums and stuff like that, as I've been showing you, have higher redox than people who do not because you have more oxidizers in the aquarium to handle insults. And this could be a reason why eliminating these oxidizers very quickly is why fish are capable with their own immune systems to heal up whenever they have a problem. Just like we, 
we do, right? We're, we're humans. If you're in good shape, you're taking your vitamins, you're healthy, um, you, you may not get sick or you may not get as sick as somebody who's in worse shape than you are and has other secondary problems, right? Just like the goldfish I showed you, healed right up. No problems, no chemicals, no nothing. And this was something that uh, had to be really researched hard because why were uh, the goldfish constantly getting sick? Why did we? I have to keep giving them chemicals uh, repetitively? And finally they died. And they were very short-lived. But with the anoxic filtration system or using a plenum, that all went to the wayside where the fish, if it was injured, very badly, it just healed right up without the use of all kinds of chemicals and everything because the fish's own immune system kicked in. So anyhow, this is Dr. Novak. I thought I would do this quick video because it is a question that's constantly had that anons and cantons are taken in to the plenum, are taken into a BCB basket, and this could be the reason why fish are able to fight off and ward off diseases that normally would um, cause problems without the use of drugs of some sort to try to save their life. And let's face facts, let's, let's all admit the truth. We watch videos of people that have goldfish, for example, and uh, since they're prone to be getting sick very easily, it seems like, uh, they're constantly giving them a chemical of some sort or an antibiotic of some sort gram negative gram positive antibiotic whatever it is trying to constantly solve the goldfish's problem and uh, it, it's nice to know that you have a system that can help make water conditions good so the immune system that the animal has itself can ward off any secondary infections that can happen if they get injured or if they happen to get a little sick. So this is Dr. Novak. Until next time, uh, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and happy fish keeping.